the Galaxy S26 Ultra is getting ready to launch, and many people are already talking about its camera. Every time smartphone cameras are compared, Samsung's Ultra models always come up. Year after year, Samsung releases a flagship that many users consider one of the best camera phones available. The S26 Ultra is expected to follow that tradition. But this time, Samsung is not alone. Sony has entered the spotlight with a brand new 200 megapixel camera sensor called the LYT901. This has created a real competition. People are wondering if the S26 Ultra will continue to be a camera monster, or if it will just be a normal high-end phone. To understand the answer, we need to look at the S26 Ultra's camera upgrades. Early information suggests that Samsung will not make big changes to the camera hardware compared to the S25 Ultra. However, there is one important upgrade the wider aperture on the main camera. The S25 Ultra used an f1.7 aperture, while the S26 Ultra is expected to switch to f1.4. This may sound like a small change, but in photography, aperture makes a big difference. Moving from f1.7 to f1.4 lets the camera take in around 50% more light. That does not mean the photos will magically become twice as bright, but it means the sensor will receive more light in dark conditions. More light means better photos at night, less grain, fewer artifacts, and fewer blurry shots. If Samsung continues using the same 200 megapixel ISOCELL HP2 sensor, the wider aperture will help that sensor work better in difficult environments. Low light photos could look smoother with more detail, and the camera could use lower ISO settings or faster shutter speeds. All this helps deliver clearer and cleaner results. Pixel size also matters. The HP2 sensor uses 0.6 micron pixels. These tiny pixels benefit from more light because small pixels usually struggle in dark conditions. With a wider aperture, the camera may improve overall brightness without relying too much on artificial processing. The wider aperture will also help with depth of field. Photos may have a stronger background blur, allowing the subject to stand out more naturally. Portraits may appear more professional, while software can create fake blur with AI, real optical blur always looks more pleasing and believable. This upgrade alone could noticeably improve everyday photography. While Samsung is making this improvement, Sony has introduced something that could change the smartphone camera market. Sony announced the LYT901 sensor, its first 200 megapixel sensor designed for smartphones. It is a stack sensor measuring of a 1.2 inch. This makes it slightly smaller than Sony's 1 inch LYT900, but still larger than most phone camera sensors today. The LYT901 uses 0.7 micron pixels and a quad quad Bayer pattern, which combines 16 small pixels into one larger pixel for better nighttime performance. AI processing is then used to restore full detail when zooming or taking high-resolution shots. Sony says the new sensor can capture 200 megapixel RAD photos at up to 10 frames per second or 50 megapixel photos at 30 frames per second. It also promises improved HDR performance, better highlight control, stronger shadow detail, and up to 4 tie high-quality crop zoom. The first phones expected to use this sensor are likely to be the Oppo Find X9 Ultra or the Vivo X300 Ultra, and they should arrive sometime in the spring of 2026. These phones may become serious rivals to the Galaxy S26 Ultra, especially for users who care deeply about photography. Because Samsung will launch earlier, it has an advantage in timing. The S26 lineup is expected around late January, meaning Samsung will enter the market first. But being first also means facing reviews first. The S26 Ultra will get the spotlight, but once Sony's sensor hits the market, many people will start comparing results. The rumored camera setup of the S26 Ultra is similar to the S25 Ultra. The telephoto camera may move from 10 megapixels to 12 megapixels. The phone is expected to keep the 50 megapixel ultra wide lens, a 50 megapixel 5 to periscope zoom, the 12 megapixel selfie camera, and the 200 megapixel main sensor. The wider f of 1.4 aperture remains the main upgrade. Sony's new sensor could raise the bar. If its real world performance matches the claims, it may deliver outstanding detail, excellent night shots, and AI zoom technology that surpasses current phones. Camera enthusiasts are waiting to see how it performs with textures, motion, and lighting challenges. Strong results could pressure Samsung to introduce larger changes in the future. Still, we should remember how good Samsung already is. The S25 Ultra has proven itself as an excellent camera phone. Many sample shots have impressed users around the world. Phones have reached a point where they have replaced compact cameras for many people, and Samsung's Ultra lineup has played a major role in that shift. Even if the S26 Ultra keeps most of the same hardware, the widened aperture alone may be enough to improve low, light shots and portrait photography. Meanwhile, Sony's challenge will push the industry forward. The smartphone camera race is getting more intense every year. Samsung is sticking with its 200 megapixel strategy, while Sony is pushing high detail and advanced AI. The real test will come when the phones reach customers. 
Whether the S26 Ultra becomes a camera powerhouse or just a polished premium phone will depend on real-world performance. One thing is clear 2026 will bring exciting competition in smartphone photography.